winning is obviously very important to you. Now, winning for winning's sake is important. But do you like to beat another man? Yeah, I do. Yes, I like to beat another man. <laughs> well, you smile about it. You like to crush another man's ego? Uh-huh. 72% of you are not subscribed. Subscribe. All right, do it. All right, we are here debuting the 97 third inning boss, Troy Glaus. I've heard good and bad things about this card. Uh, a lot of bad things, though. A lot of bad things because his stance is kind of weird. And it kind of causes a problem with his swing. And his stats look good on paper, but he just doesn't hit to that level, apparently. But we're going to try him out today and see if he does. I'm curious for myself. The other two guys, Grady Sizemore, looks a bit underwhelming. And Dennis Eckersley looks good, but I wanted a guy for a debut video. So we went ahead and got Troy Glaus. And if he works for us, that's fucking great because he looks like a great card. So we're going to get into a ranked season's game. We're going to be pitching with 91 Felix Hernandez today. He's on his way to parallel 5. We are going to try and super fracture Felix here. Uh, he's not been bad. 3.86 ERA, 27-9 record. Only 5 walks across 100 innings. So he's been really accurate at least. Uh, but yeah, let's get into a game. 7, what? 702 rating? Let's see what we're going to match up with. We're a bit further into the ranked. Uh, we're a bit further into the season. So hopefully we don't got those fucking World Series players infested in Division Series now. Who does he got? The new Virgie Jenkins. Okay. He's got Evan Longoria too. Bit of a different team. Oh, is he at a created stadium? I don't remember Fish being at a created stadium by any means. Miami's got Fish right there? I did not know that. No way. I, that's something I would know. That's something I would fucking remember. He ends up walking me, though. So good at bat by Chipper. We got Troy up. Troy's PCI is pretty damn small because he's facing already today, but we'll see if he can do something still. Fucking fork ball. It's going to be my kryptonite. Hits me the sinker inside, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was going to be shocked if he didn't try and hit me with that. Sinker. Now that they know where the beat is. Fastball low and away. Feel it. And to do something a little less, you know, obvious with it. Uh, you know, they can feel Fucking fork ball. A strikeout. Great at bat by him, but he ended up striking out. Because that fucking stupid pitch. I hate the fork ball, man. I fucking hate that pitch. I'm going to see what happens though right here. Dude, he fucking check swung at that. That's just fucking stupid that Jackie cannot get to that. That's actually fucking ridiculous that Jackie can't get to that. With how slow that's it. Rise with the sinker three times. Rise slowly. Oh! <laughs> Gave me the curve and I crushed it. There we go. There we go. Good shit, Trout. Fucking Christ. That's filthy. Base hit for Jackie on the up and in sinker. It's a good way to start it. I'm not even going to consider Felix being the leadoff hitter. Two run shot. Those fork ball alone away. I got all over it. He's gone. We're hopping into another game. I refuse to accept just moving on with one at bat with Troy. Are you fucking kidding me? All right. I think he's got his ace on the mound, but our ace is on the mound too. We got to light her up. Who's he got? Ray Oswald. Otani. Otani's in the starting lineup. Parallel four. What is the record? 57 and he's got a negative record. What? Oh, Troy. 
On, oh, fuck, I was about to say on the 90, speed does it to him, but no. Jeez, you're the one bunt dancing, but you are also dancing when you're swinging. Holy shit. You are moving out there. Good hit, Jackie. Reaching up there for that fastball. You feel like this guy's going to be a paranoid pitcher. Nice hit. That's exactly what I want with Troy coming up. It is. That is perfect. All right, let's see what Troy can do. Fucking sinker. He has hit absolutely crushed two fastballs, but fouled both of them off. I strike out twice with Troy Glaus, dude. That's a double play. Yeah, I kind of just wah. Why did he? And that's a three run shot because of that. Damn dude, that's kind of your own fault. You were out of that inning. He's out of here. We gotta go another, we gotta go another one. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> All right, we got Corbin Burns on the mound this time. Who does he got? Don't think it's his ace. Garrett Crochet. We got a lefty. But he's going to be a tough one. He's going to be a tough one. He is. He's going to be a tough lefty to hit. Uh, but who... What? What is his record, huh? 97 and 85. Okay, so he's 12 wins above 500. We get to lead off hitting. Uh, is that a home run? Oh, this is a shitty stadium. 348. Oh, boy. Hits you with the fastball. I gotta hit that. There you go. I can tell he's very good at hitting the fastball up and in. I just have to time it. But I can definitely tell he's got a good swing for those up and in fastballs. Mike Trout, dude. You need to fucking chill out today. Holy shit. Is that three home runs today? Chill the fuck out. Calm down. That swing. Yes. There we go. You got it right this time. Dante Bichette with the hit to lead off the second. Yeah, he threw a fastball right down the fucking middle. And that is looking like extra bases. Now the pitcher is up. We're, only, we're at zero, so I really do not care about the pitcher coming up. And he might quit. Jesus Christ. All right, we got three at-bats with Troy Gloss. Uh, that's three quits. It's three at-bats, three quits. Everybody's kind of just getting the fuck out of here. I don't even know what to say. I just got three quits so goddamn quick. Felix, he got nothing to pitch with. He got nothing to pitch with. And Corbin Burns got, like, nothing to pitch with either. Everybody got maybe four or five innings total. And you add them all up. All right, well, Troy Glos ended up going one for three, the single and two strikeouts. The first two at-bats were only my fault. They were my fault alone. That's it. It's not the card. The card feels pretty good. I like I like the feeling that this card can hit inside really well. It's, it's like, it's going to be hard to time up because, like, well, it was at first. Eventually, I got it going with that first at-bat. I felt like I was going to have a good game there with Troy Glaus, especially because there was a lefty on the mound. But the only problem I was having in the first two at-bats is that I wasn't ready for how ready Troy Glaus was going to be for inside pitches. Some cards, they're not good enough for inside. Some cards are just too good. And he's, he's up there with the two goods. So it's going to be exciting to see how he can do with, uh, with or how I can do with him. Because he's so well hitting inside. And if you don't know, I fucking love hitting the inside of the plate. Uh, but yeah, boys, that's going to do it for the video. We'll keep him in the lineup for now. Uh, Kyle Seeger's just going to rock the bench. But uh, yeah, boys, that's going to do it for the video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy. Subscribe to my content like this. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.